DJI Action 3 or GoPro Hero 11? If you are like me who is thinking which is the better buy, then stay tuned to this video because that is what I will tackle. But before that, hi, my name is Nico. I create videos about camera gear, audio equipment, and desk setups. I am in no way a professional videographer or photographer. I used to professionally edit at a podcast company, but all the opinions here in my channel is from a perspective of an everyday tech dad. Now, back to the video. First of all, just some disclaimers. I actually already own a GoPro Hero 11, but it still bothers me thinking if I made the right decision since my first choice was to buy the DJI Osmo Action 3. Good thing my friends at Altitude Digital lent me a DJI Osmo Action 3 so that I could compare these two cameras. By the way, I also bought my GoPro Hero 11 from Altitude digital so go check them out now i just want to get one thing straight and that i will not discuss each of the pros and cons of these two cameras there are already a lot of videos on youtube that tackles those but to give you a gist of what those are it's basically the gopro has better image quality hands down but when it comes to ease of use the dji action 3 is better and if you have been a previous gopro owner like me you wouldn't be surprised. Actually, let me take that back. I'm actually surprised that we are in the 11th iteration of the GoPro and they still could not figure out how to fix these freezing bugs, which by the way, happened to me already during a vacation and it happened in the pool. So there is no way for me to take out the battery and put it back in. Also, the touchscreen is still not that responsive in the GoPro, while the DJI Osmo Action 3 just works. No bugs, the touchscreen is easy to use, and even the front screen is a touchscreen. Battery life is also so much better on the DJI, plus it comes with this magnetic system, and boy, you guys know how much I love magnets. That is so convenient to use. And when you get the adventure combo, it even comes with a charging case and two extra batteries. But the biggest question for me is what good is ease of use if the quality of the footage is bad? Well, this first came into question when all these videos of the Action 3 being out of focus popped up on YouTube and there were a ton of them. Some defended DJI saying it was just soft and some did scientific tests that proved that it was out of focus. Well, in the end, there were really units that were out of focus, and it's good to know that DJI are starting to either repair or replace the out of focus units. So now, I test these two cameras. All right, side-by-side -side comparison of the GoPro Hero 11 and the DJI Action 3. GoPro is at 5.3K, 30 frames per second, linear. And the DJI Action 3 is at 4K, 30 frames per second as well, standard de-warp. How is the image comparison? ISO set to maximum 400. Um, shutter is automatic. So let's walk to the back. Which has the better image quality for me I know the answer already it's the GoPro but is the DJI Action 3 far behind when it comes to the image quality how do they handle changes in exposure or lighting conditions so here we are harsh light and how do they compare in low light situations? So let's go inside. So we are inside the house now. You may see the jitters because I think since we are at maximum ISO 400, it will compensate using the shutter speed. Now I am inside my office. Who handles low light better? Is it the GoPro or the DJI Action 3? Let me turn on my 
video light to see under artificial light can these two cameras perform so i am in front of my uh, 60 watt cob light this is the dji action 3 and this is the gopro hero 11. is the quality of the dji action 3 enough for me to get it over the GoPro that has superior image quality. Convenience wise, I'm telling you, it's not overrated. It is really so much easier to use the DJI Osmo Action 3. The screens, uh, the Action 3's screen is very responsive compared to the GoPro, which until now, we tend to touch the options of the GoPro that is not really your choice, but you know, since it's so fidgety, yeah it's not responsive so but here in artificial light i can see i think the gopro is handling this better testing these two cameras in full auto mode. The test I did yesterday was on pro mode on both cameras where and you can dial in settings like maximum ISO or the shutter speed but you know I set also the shutter speed to auto but now it's full auto all settings are on auto so how does it look Let's stay here This is how it looks like when I am under the sun. Either way, which has the better image quality. So the big question is, is the image quality of the GoPro that big of a difference for me to stick with it and just endure the poor performance of the GoPro in the ease of use department? Well, my answer is a big yes at least for me the image quality of the gopro is that far superior but is the dji action 3 a bad camera no it's actually a good camera but right now the quality of the gopro is something that i would want more to be able to match with the quality of my mirrorless cameras like what i'm using right now so that there is less of uh, you know a drop in quality when you mix and match footage but if you don't care about that and your only camera will be an action camera then by all means go with the dji action 3 and if you are a gopro owner and would want some of the features i discuss about the dji action 3 like the magnetic mount or the charging case then i have the solution for you for the magnetic mount i bought the ulanzi gp4 which work kind of the same way and for the charging case, there is the CG Cine PSG10. That was a mouthful. So I still kind of get those features even though I have the GoPro and not the DJI. So there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see how the stabilization in the GoPro is, I tested it out during our vacation, which you can watch here, here. Just click this or tap it if you're on mobile, tap this, come on.